Hashtag kids, it's Miss Mia here. Um, we're gonna learn about God today, and we're gonna start by playing a game. And the game that we're gonna play today is a game where we think of words that start with the letter G. My cameraman, Johnny Hines, is going to play with me. Are you ready, Johnny? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go back and forth until one of us messes up. Either we can't think of a G word or we repeat one. Goose. Grass. Grape. Glass. Goggles. Gla gra gas. Grapefruit. Grape. Golly. Uh, gap. Gordon. Uh, go googly eyes. Guitar. Um, Game. Gotcha. G G All right. I think I won. Okay. Johnny couldn't think of a word, but that's okay. I've got four words that start with a G written down on a piece of paper I want to show you. The words are God gives good gifts. Repeat after repeat after me. God gives, gives Good, good gifts. gifts. In today's story, we're going to learn about God and praying. We're going to learn that God loves to answer our prayers and that God is always giving us good gifts. Let's listen to the story and find out more. Jesus had just finished praying when one of his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray. So Jesus told them, when you pray, say, Father, your name be honored as holy. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves also forgive everyone in debt to us. And do not bring us into temptation. Then Jesus told them a story. Imagine one of you goes to a friend at midnight and says, Friend, let me borrow three loaves of bread because a friend of mine has traveled to visit me and I don't have anything to offer him. The friend shouts from inside his house, Go away! My family is in bed. I don't want to get up to help you. Even though the man does not want to help his friend, he will get up and give his friend what he needs because he asked boldly. Jesus told the story to teach the disciples about prayer. He said, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Jesus asked, does any father when his son asks for a fish give him a snake instead? Or if the son asks for an egg, does the father give him a scorpion? Jesus said that fathers who are sinners know how to give good gifts to their children. God is an even greater Father. He gives the Holy Spirit to those who ask. Jesus told another story, a parable, to teach the disciples to pray without giving up. In a town was a judge who did not care about God or people. Over and over, a widow went to the judge and asked him to protect her from wrongdoing. The judge did not want to help, but after a while he said, I will give this widow what she wants so she does not keep bothering me. Jesus pointed out that the unjust judge did what was right because the widow did not give up. When people cry out to God day and night, will he ignore them? Jesus asked. No, he will quickly make things right. Jesus wanted his followers to have faith that doesn't give up. Jesus taught us to pray. Because of Jesus, we can pray to God as a father and ask for what we need. We can trust that God is good and loving, and we can count on Him to do what is right. Wow, that was a really great story, don't you think? Let's um, think back to the story and answer some questions. Number one, why did Jesus say a friend would help his neighbor even late at night? Hmm. Oh, I remember. It was because he asked boldly. Do you know what that means? Boldly. 
I would describe it as maybe bravely or without fear or without shyness, boldly. Number two, what did Jesus say a father would not give his son? There were some animals mentioned in the story. Hmm. Ew, it was a snake or a scorpion, wasn't it? Yeah, a father wouldn't give his child a bad gift, and neither would your father in heaven. Your father in heaven is God. God gives good gifts. Even sometimes if it's not what we thought we wanted or asked for, we can know that it's something good. Number three, why did the unjust judge do the right thing for the widow? Hmm, hmm, that's a hard one. Oh, I know, it's because she kept asking. She kept asking. Don't be afraid to ask. Ask and you will receive. Hmm, how do these parables encourage you and I to pray? Let's think about that. Hmm. Well, I know each person in the story was a sinner and the sinner still did the right thing. Jesus wanted people to see that because God is much greater than people, he can be trusted to hear our prayers and respond in the perfect way. Boys and girls, when you pray, you are talking to God and God wants to hear from you. He wants to talk to you. Don't ever be afraid or shy about praying. Just talk to God, tell him what's on your heart, tell him what's on your mind, tell him, ask him questions. He's there for you and he always will be. Well, today let's close out in prayer together. So I'd like you guys to bow your head and I will lead us in prayer, okay? Father in heaven, thank you so much for creating the world, ruling over the world. You are the ruler of earth, God. We know that we've sinned, we know we're not perfect, and we know we need you, God. God, thank you for providing a way. Thank you for providing a solution to the sin problem that we have. Thank you for sending Jesus to earth. Jesus lived a perfect life and died on the cross for our sins. He died and rose again and sits at the right hand of God he gave up his life for us, and we are welcome into God's family for eternity because of him. This is the best gift ever. Kids, you can accept Jesus into your life. If you believe in your heart that Jesus alone saves you through what he's already done on the cross, you can be free from sin. Lord, thank you so much for Jesus and for welcoming us into your family, God. We love you, and we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, bye. Till next week.